Hey everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make re spaces like the ones in the track The Sun by Black Sun Empire. So this is the original track. And this is the sound we're going to be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but you can play with the different layers. and learn how to make sounds in this style. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so how I said in the beginning of the video, this sound is separated into layers. First, we have this layer, which serves as a noise. Then we have the main saw waves, which, if you know how to EQ them, You can get really cool tones out of them. Then we have this other layer. That also contains lots of the tones in the sound. And next we have a layer that adds harmonics all the way on top of the reeds. We add them one by one. we get that reason. So let's construct this patch one by one. Okay, so for the first layer, we're going to use very complex wave tables. In this case, let's load up monster one on both oscillators. Now, in case you want to follow along with the video, these are notes that we're gonna be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's go back into Serum. And so here, what we're going to do is we're going to move the frame. We gotta make sure that both wavetables stay at the same frame. So for that, we can map a macro here and type in a number, for example, 91. Let's leave it at that. And next, let's add a phaser. Let's add phaser 36 plus. Route both oscillators through it. And boost the cutoff. Like that. And let's boost the resonance. As you can see, this is a really cool way of adding interesting harmonics to the sound. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this in like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is to detune both oscillators on the same distance going up and down. So they have this phase cancellation movement that makes the reese. So I'm going to put 60 cents on B and minus 60 cents on A. So now we get this oscillating motion. Really cool. We're going to bring the random phase of both those leaders all the way down. And next we're going to go into the effects tab. And here in the effects tab, we're going to add distortion. Let's add diode 2. Boost the drive all the way up. And then we're going to add multiband compression. We're going to boost again a little bit. And we're going to leave the patch like this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is in the post-processing, we're simply going to high pass all of the low frequencies and some of the mids to just leave the highs. And now we have this really cool layer that has a resonant area around 1K, similar to a breath pulsating. Cool. Now let's work on the next layer. Okay, so for the next layer, we're actually going to be duplicating the sound that we already have. But we're going to change this setup into saw waves. So let's load basic shapes on both those leaders and let's map this macro to the saw wave shape. Next, let's turn off the filter and let's turn on the sub with also a saw wave here. But let's mix this one very low. Cool. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the effects and change the distortion for tooth. 
and we're going to add an EQ after the distortion just to accentuate a few frequencies. So let's change to a bell, let's bring this Q down. As you can see, boosting around the 1K range gives you a really cool formant in the sound. So we're going to leave it there. Next, we're going to add a one more bell. But we're going to focus this bell on the low end of the sound. Around the 100 hertz area is good enough. So that's what it sounds like. And the only thing that I have for post-processing is this EQ that has a notch at around 640 hertz and then a boost on the sub. So this is what it sounds like now. Cool, so now let's jump into the next layer. Okay, so for the next layer, we're actually going to duplicate once more the patch that we already had. But with the difference that we are going to bring all of the harmonics one octave up. So we're gonna bring oscillator B one octave up, A one octave up, and the sub one octave up. But as you can hear, these double the speed of the oscillation. But if we understand how the frequencies behave, we can know that we only need to bring the detuning down by half on both oscillators. So the speed also goes to half, which was the original speed on the original octave. Really cool. Now let's add some noise. And this is it for the serum. Now outside of serum, we're going to be using a saturator with 20 decibels of drive, but we're going to compensate for that huge gain boost with the output by bringing it lower. Then we're going to EQ this whole thing, again, adding a notch around 500 Hertz, cutting some of the highs and then boosting some of this high mids. So if we listen to this with the other layers. Cool. Now, next patch. Okay, so for the next layer, once again, we're going to repeat the same method of copying and pasting the same patch and bringing it one octave up like this. Now we're going to add a chorus after the distortion. We're going to boost its mix all the way up. and boost the low pass filter. And this is the whole variation. Now for the post processing, I have once again, one more saturator, same thing, boosting drive, bringing it down. And then one more EQ again, carving different notches. This one is at around 900 Hertz, carving some of the highs. And these are the harmonics that we get. So if you've been following with the video until this point, you should have a sound that sounds like this. And now the trick is to mix these layers differently. For example, we can bring the very noisy one down, the main, so waves up, this one also up, and this one we can make it fall in the middle of these two. So now if we mix this, that's the sound that we get. And again, you can play with the different mixes of the layers. And with the different harmonics, for example, on this sound. And the different EQing on the sounds. If you want to get different tones. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.